at the beginning of this class, my sense of identity was not strongly defined, and I would say it still isn't. However, there has been a focus on understanding the weight of these identities and understanding how this may relate to an experience with service learning. Critical service learning takes the ideas in regular service learning and adds emphasis on the community engagement part, specifically with forming authentic relationships and redistributing power. Our pen pal project is an excellent opportunity for community engagement and developing an authentic relationship. Unfortunately, my pen pal has yet to respond, but other people, and hopefully myself, will get to form this relationship with somebody of a vastly different identity. I would hope that this would lead to a development of my understanding of my own identity and my relationship with others, and perhaps give me more tools to engage with and change a community. One excellent tool is the literature of others. Understanding the structure and nature of carceral institutions, Foucault, or different ideas about what can be done for change in these areas, we do this till we free us, have been and are excellent tools towards achieving real change. However, one has to actually use these tools for them to be any help. Our inquiry projects are one place where we began to use these tools. In this case, the tool in question was a springboard of ideas. The presentation of ideas about race, class, and various institutions serve to spark questions that I am and have been excited to explore. Both texts present new perspectives on ideas I already knew some things about. Caste, for example, links American race and the caste system, two things I was aware of but in a way I had not thought about before, yet also in a way that made so much sense. We Do This Till We Free Us presents ideas a lot of people seem to think extreme, but I like the discussion it raises about pervasive ideas in society that I hadn't taken time to really deconstruct one of which being society's pervasive desire to punish people it labels as bad. Everything we have read has had, to some extent, a focus on various forms of power dynamics. I'm a fan of the fact that the class is intentionally structured to minimize a typical professor-student power dynamic as much as possible. That said example works with what I read about power dynamics in the United States and the abuses or consequences that may come with them to act as motivation. Motivation for me to consider the power dynamics I see in my life and perhaps how to address or even change them. My hopes for this next half of the semester are mostly just to find a satisfying conclusion to everything we discuss, although I know the issues we learn about won't be solved by the end of the class. I hope that, after finishing our readings, we might be able to move forward with the ideas we learn in some way, whether that be finding new readings to build on or the opportunity to apply ideas towards a positive change in our community to any extent. Finally, I hope that I can get a response back from my pen pal because I really do want to hear what he has to say. I think that all of the ideas we learn and all of the perspectives I can gain are things that will guide me towards whatever my future holds. All that being said, the final thing I hope that I can convey is that I think what I am learning and doing in this class is valuable and has led and hopefully will continue to lead to a lot of personal growth and development.